Come on. You better start winding it down, baby elf. Come on. Okay. In November 2008, Barack Obama was elected president. My son was four. I remember taking him to a bookstore and seeing a whole shelf lined with newspapers and magazines, all of which had Obama's face on them. I looked down at my son and I said, look son, he looks like you. It occurred to me at that moment that there would come a day when my son wouldn't be able to remember having a president that didn't look like him. And sure enough, at age 12, he had seen eight years of a world in which the president of the United States looked a little bit like him. And that's a stark contrast from me at 12. When I was 12, my friends and I would sneak onto the stage after assemblies at school and pretend to address the audience as the first black president. We would duck and dodge the bullets that we assumed would be flying in our faces. It was our running joke, but it was rooted in our fundamental belief that America simply couldn't handle a black president. And then, on January 20th, 2009, Barack Obama made it so that my son's reality would be completely different than mine. He would get to live in a reality in which there was no doubt that he could be the president of the United States of America if he was willing to put in the work to do so. This most recent election, I was hoping baby Ella would get a similar reality shift. I wanted to see a woman in the White House. I want baby Ella to live in a world in which she knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that she can be whatever she wants to be. Having a woman in the White House is a powerful image. Because of what I do for a living, I'm keenly aware of the impact that image could have. I've had people ask me if I really voted for Obama simply because he was black. And similarly, when I voiced my support for Kamala Harris early in the election cycle, I got those same questions. What those people don't seem to understand is that presidents come and go, but the impact of seeing yourself in a position like that, the idea that there are no limits to your potential, that's something that doesn't go away. So, Although this election didn't go as planned, the importance of what did happen isn't lost on me. For the first time in the history of this country, a woman will hold the vice presidency. And as if that wasn't cool enough, she's a woman of color. Baby Ella will get to see a woman that she can identify with in one of the most powerful positions on earth. And who knows? Maybe one day, Vice President Harris will become President Harris, breaking that last bit of glass ceiling before she goes. If not, if it just so happens that Baby Ella grows up without having that Obama experience that young Reuben had, don't worry. I have every confidence that Baby Ella will break that glass all by herself. But if Vice President Harris does end up on a presidential ticket in four or eight years, and someone asks the question, will you really vote for her simply because she's a woman of color? Let me be clear. Yes, I absolutely will. <laughs>